you know our next guest from the Star Wars movies, but now she swaps droids for dragons in Raya and the Last Dragon is in theaters and on Disney Plus Premier Access starting March 5th. Please welcome Kelly Marie Tran. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. That is a beautiful dress you have. Thank you so much. I feel like an ice skater. Do you <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing really well. How are you? I'm doing well. Last few times you're here was with the whole cast of Star Wars. And now that you're here by yourself, I want to talk to you about something that happened in 2013. Mm -hmm. How old were you? Oh, my God. 2013? What year is it now? 2021. 2021. So that's, oh, math, bad. Eight. Guillermo, grab the abacus. <laughs> I was probably 26. Okay, so you're yeah. 26 years old, yeah. and one of your first acting jobs was here on this show. Yeah, it was. No, I was early 26. It was probably 24. Oh. Yeah, I was 24. There you okay. go, there you go. Yeah, I was on your show. You were on the show. The idea of the, I don't even remember what we were doing, but Jim O'Hare, who's on Parks mm -hmm. and Rec, very funny guy, was playing Justin Bieber many years in the future. Yep. And, um, and you were a kid singing in it. Let's take a look. He lost his groove. And my heart goes bang, bang, bang. Yeah, bang, bang, bang. I'll show you how it's done. Bang, bang, bang. He was singing into a flashlight. <laughs> yep. That was my big break, actually. <laughs> was it? It was. You may have broken a hip. <laughs> How many times did you get pushed off that stage? I think at least four or five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was yeah. so fun, though. And also, I remember being so nervous to get here, mm -hmm. to get here on time. I, I thought I was really? going to be fired for some reason. I was like, I'm going to get fired. I just know I'm going to get fired. <laughs> um, but I had a wonderful time being pushed off that stage. <laughs> yeah, sure. Did you act in, like, high school? Did you do theater and that sort of thing? I did. You did? I did. I was in, like, five million clubs. Yeah. Five million clubs. Yeah. What clubs yeah. were you in? <laughs> I was a I was vice president of my choir in high school. I was a co-president of the Vietnamese Student Association. I was spirit and publicity chair of class council. I was secretary of peer counseling. Do you see how annoying I was in high school? Now? Wow. <laughs> were you doing that to build a college resume, or you were just into being part uh, part of these groups? No, yeah, I was absolutely doing it for a college resume. I really feel like I was um, Reese Witherspoon in election. That was just yeah. who I was. Yeah. Really? <laughs> so you had all these things on the resume. I wonder if at any point, like, these college admissions people look at this stuff and go, oh, this is too much. This is... <laughs> You know? <laughs> you know, if they do, it was probably with it my application. It was because of you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so you were co-president. Uh, co were you president of any of the groups? No, Jimmy, I wasn't. Interesting. Okay. You, yeah. you <laughs> gravitate towards a support role. I gravitated towards having a title, but not having to do everything. I got you. Got it? Yeah. You brought something <laughs> along because you were having a conversation with our producer about what you were like as a kid and what you were up yeah. to. And, well, tell us what, what you have for us here. Okay, well, I have a real treat for you. Okay, great. I'm really excited. Actually, I'm very embarrassed to share this. <laughs> um, so, like I said, I was in a bunch of clubs in high school, and my email, which I still have access to, was little, L-I-L, underscore, Disney, underscore, Dorco, at, I'm not going to give you the at, dot com. Uh-huh, right. And this is the email Two I would Two underscores. Use. I know. <laughs> Does that mean that you tried Lil Disney Dorco and it was taken already? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. No, yeah, I, I wanted it to be... Who wants an email with underscores, am I right? You want the <laughs> continuous email, but someone had already taken those other ones. I see, so okay. So I had to have the underscore. Right. Um, anyway, I still have access to this email address, uh, <laughs> as you do. Mm -hmm. And I looked up the other day, I was like, oh... I was just thinking about what, what was I like when I was in high school, and I found all of these emails that I sent out to the many clubs I was in. Um, and I'm going to read one for you. Please do. It's Go ahead. Big tree. Hello, members of the Spirit Publicity Committee for Class Council. Just a few announcements and assignments. First of all, as you should already know, we have a car wash coming up as well as a pep rally. Seeing as we're all members of the Spirit Publicity Committee, I figure we should be doing the same amount of work in order to make our activities a success. Please, 
correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and because I believe that some of you have not been taking the initiative to offer your help, I have decided to assign you things to do. Oh, and don't worry, I even have descriptions and directions of exactly bolded and underlined what you need to do in case you're confused. Wow. And this came from Lil Disney Dorco. This, came, this came from Lil Disney Dorco. <laughs> Yeah. Did people listen? Did they obey your commands? Um, strangely, they did. They did, yeah. Yeah, yeah they yeah. were probably nervous. They're like, oh, this person's crazy. Yeah, they were probably <laughs> horrified because I was a little bit psycho, yeah. Were you a Disney nut or something? Huge. Oh. I loved, like, all the animated So movies. this must be a dream come true for you to be in this Disney lead in a Disney film. Yeah, yeah, it's a big deal. Um, are you a uh, Disney princess now? Is that? Uh, I'm technically a Disney princess. Yeah. You dress like a Disney princess. Well, thank you. <laughs> Before you were a Disney princess, who was your favorite Disney princess? Mulan. Mulan Absolutely. was your favorite. Yeah. And now I assume Raya is your favorite. Yeah. Well, yeah, uh, yeah probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's very exciting. Yeah, I I am stoked. I can't believe I get to be part of this. It feels like a world that I feel is still impossible, but I'm doing it. Does that make sense? No, but I, okay, I yeah. understand it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it's all weird, right? I mean, you, one day you're sending um, passive aggressive emails <laughs> to your high school friends, and then suddenly you're <laughs> on television and getting shoved off a stage, and then you're in Star Wars, and then you're a Disney princess, and everybody else goes, yeah, 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 that makes sense. But you're like, oh, no, this none of this makes sense. Yeah. That it this feels, happened. Yeah, it feels like a weird fever dream, the whole <laughs> thing, right? <laughs> yeah, I would imagine that it does. Where do you record an animated uh, film during COVID times? I recorded in a makeshift fort. Uh, at my boyfriend's apartment, which was just made of sound blankets taped to the wall with duct tape. Um, wow. Glamorous, yeah. Wow. <laughs> were dogs barking and stuff like that? Yeah, there was fully, I remember there were days where I was like, there's construction happening, my internet is cutting out. Uh, what is happening? Yeah, there was See, always sounds going on. People think being a Disney princess is all little birds <laughs> flying around and tailoring your clothes for you, but it's a lot harder than that. It is. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you The movie's so called Riot and the Last Dragon. I'll watch it with my kids. It's on Disney Plus and a premiere access March 5th and in theaters then to Kelly Marie Tran. We'll be back with Black Pumas. Thanks for watching. Remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.